America's Darkest Times. There were approximately 750,000 soldiers and 250,000 soldiers were wounded in America's Darkest Times between 1861 to 1865. In addition to that, there were 50,000 civilians who died in U.S. Civil War. This single deadliest event was one of the most unforgettable story in American history. Yet these rare U.S. Civil War photos will tell you more. At the end of this video, you will discover that the Battle of Appomattox Courthouse placed an end to the Civil War. Union Army Teenage Soldiers It was estimated that there are 100,000 soldiers below 15 years of age. After Fort Sumter concede, men and boys between the age of 7 to 17 years old were allowed to enlist themselves. Initially, President Abraham Lincoln called for 90-day enlistment after the Union Army was driven out of the Peninsula Campaign and the Rebel Army was marching to Washington, Lincoln called for 300,000 volunteers for three years. The young boys volunteered because they will not make the North and the Union retreat. Same as the Southern boys, they want to stand off from the North. The Contrabands During the American Civil War, a slave who escaped the Union lines were called contrabands. When there are slaves that escape, they are often returned to their masters. On May 23, 1861, three slaves were refused to be returned to their masters by Major General Benjamin Butler, the commanding Union forces at Fort Monroe, VA, for the reason that the slaves' former masters were rebels against the United States. Therefore, they were called contraband of war. Battle of Chancellorsville this photo shows Union soldiers long established along the west bank of Rappahannock River at Fredericksburg, Virginia. They are about to participate in the crucial Battle of Chancellorsville. This was a major battle of the American Civil War and was known as Lee's Perfect Battle. Though his decision was risky, he divided his army under the nose of a larger force of enemies. It resulted in a victory for the Confederates. The Anaconda Plan The two main objectives of the Anaconda Plan were to set up naval blockade at the Atlantic and Gulf of Mexico ports. The second was to transport 60,000 Union troops down the Mississippi River. As they hold ports, they would capture the towns along the way. It got its name because you are going to trace the area of the plan. It resembles a snake. This strategy was proposed by Union General-in-Chief Winfield Scott. The result of the bloody war was not just the soldiers' and civilians' lives, but also the livelihood and homes of every American. The cities and towns that took many years to be established were crushed into ashes. Even the forests and fields were devastatingly damaged. Many families lost their homes and businesses. The northern part got less damage because most of the combat of the war took place in the southern parts. Among the most damaged places were State Arsenal and Richmond Petersburg Railroad Bridge. Among the most damaged places were State Arsenal and Richmond Petersburg Railroad Bridge, Hoxels Mills in Virginia, and the Confederate capital of Richmond, Virginia. President Lincoln's Death This picture captured on April 19, 1865 shows the funeral procession of President Abraham Lincoln that slowly moves towards Pennsylvania Avenue in Washington, D.C. He was murdered by a Confederate ally, John Wilkes Booth, who was also an actor. He shoots Lincoln on his head while watching a play at the Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C. Ten days earlier when the photo was taken, the Confederate surrendered at Appomattox Courthouse, Virginia, successfully ended the war. You have just discovered the stories behind the rare photos from the U.S. Civil War. Watch the next video to know more about America's president